we go. Oh God, that looks so good. <laughs> Dripping down my hand. Mmm. Hey guys, how's it going? You are catching me in the middle of making dinner. So, uh, why not share the recipe, right? Uh, it's Mark Hill, this is Mark's on the Grill, and this is uh, Coast to Coast on Butter and Toast. We are in Memphis, Tennessee, and we're getting ready to go out and do all that uh, touristy stuff. Elvis, Civil Rights mag uh, Magazine, Museum. Uh, what else we got planned today? All kinds of stuff. Beale Street, right? Finally figured out the words to, uh, uh, what is it, Mark Cohen's song? Remember that one, Walking in Memphis? And I was walking in Memphis. And that 10 feet off the, I always thought it was field. It's Beale. So it, for that, I'm glad I made the trip. So, <laughs> <laughs> look what we're doing here today, guys. This is actually kind of fun. We are making bacon wrapped chicken thighs. Chicken thighs are a good one. They're like the dark, that's the dark meat. There's a little more fat in there. That means there's a little more flavor. Uh, and, and if that's not enough, we'll add more fat and flavor with the bacon. Um, you can do this so many different ways. There's so many recipes out there. We're looking for a simple one because I just want a way uh, to be able to do this really quick so we can get ourselves fed. Now, you can do this on a low and slow. That's fine. We're going to do it high and fast. Uh, we're going to set that Traeger to about 400 degrees. All right. Uh, we're not going to do the glaze bit, or if we are, it's just going to be a very like a, a light fruit juice. Uh, and you start doing that maybe... 10 or 15 minutes after it starts cooking and the bacon starts to kind of pull back and, and, and peel up, that's when you know it's time to start to glaze a little bit. And we'll just keep doing that every 10, uh, 10 to 15 minutes until uh, the internal temperature reaches about 165. That's what we're looking for. So guys, here's what you're going to do. Uh, you're going to take your chicken thighs. You're going to, uh, you can pound them out if you want. I skipped that process, right? That's why bother. Uh, and you're going to go ahead. Uh, you trim off any little danglers if you want. Uh, this is the last we're going to use that spice, so when you see my fingers going in there, don't worry about it too much. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put a little bit of garlic down. Uh, we're looking for savory today. Maria loves savory. So now we're going to roll this up like that. Okay, and we're going to grab our slice of thick cut bacon. Ba -ba -ba. There we go. And you're just going to start to roll. There's nothing complicated about this at all, you guys. Uh, this this is the coolest thing about getting into uh, cooking nowadays and uh, doing different things. There used to be a time where stuff like this, man, you only did this when you're at a restaurant. That's it. But these kind of uh, these methods and these uh, procedures are getting so just easy to do. People are getting more comfortable in the kitchen trying different things. And this is a uh, like I said, a good, quick, easy one. Everybody loves bacon. It's a crowd favorite. Everybody loves chicken. It's a crowd favorite. Everybody loves garlic. It's a crowd favorite. So when you put all those together and you match them up with a little bit of oak wood or a little bit of cherry or alder, this is one of those ones where you know kind dealer's choice they all work real nice and and you end up with a dish that's just uh, out of this world man I gotta say it's gonna be uh, not too long for all these barbecue joints here you know having a tough time because <laughs> you don't just have to wait for that special time to hit that place around the corner man you can do all of this at home now super quick super easy there we are so let me finish up the rest of these and I will meet you out back at the smoker All right, guys, so here's what you want to do. You want to set your smoker, whether you're doing it with wood and fuel or whether you're doing it with a dial on your electric, uh, to somewhere between 375 and uh, 400, you know, 450, somewhere in there. Uh, I'm going to be comfortable with 375, happy as a clam. That's going to be great for both our bacon-wrapped chicken thighs and our bacon-wrapped asparagus. Mm -hmm. So listen, um, man or woman, cannot live by uh, giant brisket, pulled pork sandwiches, uh, steak, hamburgers, whatever, alone. You need side dishes, right? So let's talk about a couple of those today. Uh, and the first one that I want to talk about, this one's a, it's an old classic. We had a bit of a spin to it. Bacon wrapped asparagus. So listen, I'm getting my veggies in there, but I don't know what this is. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, listen, what a lot of people do at this point is they would just simply take uh, a little bit of bacon, wrap it up in an asparagus, put it on the grill of the smoker, and that's fine. That's tasty, right? Nothing wrong with that. But if you want to bring it up a little bit, maybe add a little bit of a kick or a flair or something where your guests go, Ooh, that was good. What was that? Try this out. So, uh, I've got thick cut bacon here. That's terrific. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a little bit of syrup. We've got some Canadian bourbon syrup here, which I like. 
just going to give that a bit of a drizzle. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh, that's nice. Now, if you don't have a silicone brush, go buy a silicone brush. But in the meantime, use a spoon. There we go. We're just going to kind of spread that out as much as we can, and that is going to give something for our pepper flakes mm, nom, 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 nom. and our brown sugar. Brown sugar. Come on, man. Don't leave me hanging. <laughs> our brown sugar. Brown sugar. And grab a little bit of sweetness here. Now, you're not looking to cake anything. You're not making candy bacon. That's not what this one's all about. If I was making candy bacon, I would go a little bit thicker with both uh, the syrup and the brown sugar. But this time around, we just want little hints in there. So a lot of this is going to render off and kind of disappear in the smoker, but man, you are going to get some beautiful hints of flavor when you do something like this. Listen, it's all about just adding those personal touches here and there, that little bit of flavor you like, maybe that little bit of kick that you like that makes it yours. Start with these recipes. These are the base. This is what will get you there. This is your tofu, all right? But if you need to turn this into whatever insert name here's rockin' side dish, then listen, doctor it up a little bit. Do what you want to do, all right? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to grab a couple of these at a time, and we're just going to go ahead and wrap them up. And listen, try and wrap them tight, okay, because if they're too loose, what will happen is they just kind of fall apart and fall off inside that smoker. So just give them a stretch as you turn them, and that's it. You're just looking for a little bit of a pillow, a little bed, a little cot, a little hammock for your, uh, <laughs> for your asparagus to hang out with. So again, start at the end, give it a bit of a pull, and then just kind of start that wrapping process and keep it uh, uh, kind of as, as semi-tight as you can make it and that way they'll stay together in the smoker. So let me go ahead and get the rest of these ready and we'll go ahead and uh, pop that on there. Now I'm going to recommend that you use a milder wood with this, okay? So you're like a, like an alder or an oak, something like that. Apple is nice here. Uh, Hickory is a little strong. Uh, you want to save that maybe for meats and stuff, but for veggies, uh, like I said, the hickories and the oaks are nice. Here we go. Get that all wrapped up. Now, if you want to get fancy and avoid all that rolling nonsense, then just grab it right there, give it a tug, and stretch and roll, stretch and roll, stretch and roll, stretch and roll, stretch and roll. Perfect. Either way you want to do it. All right, come on, let's bring them out back. Am I going to walk right into the screen door? Almost. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. All right, let's set them down in front. There we are, just like that. We are going to place these in just like that, and then we're going to go inside. We're going to make, you know what, just a really light glaze to put on top of it to keep that bacon at bay. So, we'll grab a little bit of fruit juice, a little bit of brown sugar, a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, and do it up that way. So remember, we want to check these about every 15 minutes, and we're going to start with that first glaze at the first check, you guys. These, these are going to be tasty. Here it comes, pretty as a picture. <laughs> Look at that, that is just perfect. So here's what happens, when you use that glaze, it stops the bacon from peeling back around the chicken and unwrapping itself. So, you know, you don't have to go fancy with them, super, super simple, or even just a straight fruit juice is fine. So guys, we're gonna take this off of here. We got our thermometer in there, so we know they're perfect. The juices are running clear. While I take these off, let me remind you, about these cutting boards, guys. Uh, handmade in the USA by veterans, their spouses, their family, uh, fourth generation woodworkers, you guys. These are amazing, no two are alike. Check them out on my website. Let's go ahead, bring them inside, give them a couple of minutes to rest, and let's cut into these. They smell fantastic. <laughs> Cert to squeak. All right, so listen, guys, uh, our chicken's all uh, actually, it is done. The rest is over. Uh, you always want to let meat rest, let those juices kind of get all right, 
back into where they need to be. You know what I mean. <laughs> so guys, here we go. Uh, they're, they're the perfect temperature, 165. Like I said, we let them rest. This is one of the simplest, easiest, kind of looks fancy smoke dishes you're ever going to run across. The bacon is exactly how I like it. Check this out. Now remember, we didn't go crazy with anything on the inside. You could stuff this with cheese if you want. All we wanted to do was give it a nice savory flavor, so check that out. We've got, oh God, that looks so good. We've got our garlic in the middle. Wow, so I'm just gonna pause for a second and I'm gonna grab this guy right here. All right. Mmm, 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 that's so good, mmm. Bacon super smoky to start with. It's smokier now. That garlic went everywhere. Uh, the salt pepper garlic that we put in there is beautiful. The chicken is juicy. Wow. Guys, try this if you're in a hurry. I want a nice smoked dish. You don't want to put a lot of time and effort into it. Every 15 minutes, put that little bit of a, a fruit glaze on it. Let it uh, kind of crisp up that bacon. Give it a nice little nice little texture, nice color. And oh, wow, that's good. Look at it dripping down my hands. Guys, my name is Mark Gill. This is Mark's in the Grill. And we are coast to coast on butter and toast. We hope you're enjoying these recipes. We will see you down the road. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Say that. He's looking. Squiggy Squiggy's looking. Look at Squiggy looking. I'll have some of that, please. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys.